All right, this is an American Hauler 2017 model, seven foot wide, 16 foot uh, length with an extra three feet uh, on the V nose here. All aluminum, tri beam construction. Uh, yeah, I got the aluminum. It's all aluminum. I'm gonna get, get underneath here so you guys can see. Uh, and it is dirty, but so you can see it's got Dexter axles. They're 3,500 pounds a piece, so 7,000 pounds total. The trailer itself weighs a little over 2,000 pounds empty. Um, that's why I got the aluminum. If it was a steel, it'd probably weigh about you know 2,500 pounds. I think it's not it's not a crazy amount of weight savings, a couple hundred pounds, but every little bit helps. Plus, I just have a you know an F-150, so I'm not, I don't have like an F-350 or 450 towing anything. But I just wanted aluminum, the rust, all that good stuff. I don't have to worry about. Yes, it is dirty, but it's uh, two tone. Uh, I think they make a. They probably sold about a million of these. This is six foot eight uh, interior height. Um, obviously tandem axle. Uh, these I've had some problems with the tires, not because of the trailer, but just because of you know nails. I've replaced a couple. Uh, I replaced one tire and had I think three other flats. So, but I am with a tandem axle. When you turn, you're always dragging um, the rear axle. So, just be you know you're on the other side here. You're, I'm gonna have to replace the tire just because it's, this one's already been replaced not too long ago and you can already see some wear on it. Um, you can notice the fenders are uh, dented and uh, one's torn. That's my fault. I was going over a narrow, narrow bridge where you actually had to ride up on the actual, I wanna say the edge of the bridge to, uh, that's how narrow it was. And it's, they were made for that, but when I when I was coming down, the, the edge they caught and it ripped my fender. So. I'll eventually get these replaced on the other side as well. Um, but uh, I had to go do an estimate and I, I saw that happen. So um, so after I got done with that job, I they called me back for another repeat estimate and I included an additional fender as far as money value because I knew I was going to have to go back over there. I might rip another one. So that I included in my estimate as well. Um, as far as the side here, I, um, I got some scratches up there just from trees and everything. Um, you know, no more wear and tear. I do like the... Uh, yeah, I don't have the latch. I have the regular I mean, RV style with the locks. Um, dual lock right here. Same key. <sighs> that is great. I, that's a great upgrade. I would not do it any other way. Um, you get the little, you know, um, gutter slash water um, drip edge right there. Um, so far, so happy with it. Um, everything's LED. All the lights are LED. And we have not a rubber, but a... I don't know what I want to say, aluminum or, you know, some sort of easy, lightweight. It has to be aluminum, but um, door hinge, door catcher right there. So I like that a lot. Um, you got your vents on this side here as well. Uh, there's not much out in the back here. Now I will say this is a ramp door. Um, I will, I mean, between barn doors and ramp, I would never go with a barn door. I mean, I just, you know, when I was buying this, I you know, went back and forth what I like. I'm completely happy with the ramp door just because of wheeling off large, you know, objects, you know, bat, you know, you know, bathroom builds, kitchen builds, you know, today I'm going to pick up actually some more kitchen uh, cabinets. So it's gonna be, it's just nice to <laughs> walk up there and be done with it. So, uh, and you can just roll, I can back this all the way up to the garage and just, you know, drop it down and, you know, you can work right out from it. It's great. Uh, that's it from back here. You know, regular locks, these are, you know, these are pretty standard. Um, I would recommend getting, if you're buying a trailer, get better locks than this, but uh, eventually I will upgrade it. And um, that's, I guess, what insurance is for anyway. So uh, again, all LED uh, lights as far as um, the actual lighting up. And then this side, same thing as the other side. You can see in the front part right over here, um, dented it a little bit. So you just gotta keep your, you know, everything greased up. Brakes work great. Um, no problems with that whatsoever. Again, some more scratches up top here. It is what it is. What are you gonna do? I mean, <laughs> that's my fault anyway. So, uh, but that's about it. Like I said, it's got a little, a little less than 5,000 pounds cargo capacity with these axles on it. You know, you can go with torsion axles with larger, but just with my truck, I mean, the, you know, it's not. It, it's absolutely sufficient for a handyman. What I do, my business, it's, it's, uh, it's great. So, um, again, it's American Hauler. Um, I won't give a shout. I'm, I'm not too happy with people I bought it from just because their service like when you're buying it It's great. You know, they, they love you But once you go back for service or any issues like that uh, Not issues, but anything else. It's you know, it's crazy Like I, I called them about my fenders and never heard back from them. 
so I won't give them a plug. I'm not too happy with them. Uh, I did get a great price on it. I am happy with that as well. Uh, but that's about it, guys. American Holler, 7x16, tandem axle, 6 foot 8 interior height, all aluminum, 16 inch on center um, studs on the roof as well. Um, helps out if I ever want to put a rack, which I'm going to put a ladder rack up there so I can walk up there as well. Um, yeah, uh, aluminum over steel just because of the weight savings. A little more expensive, but in my opinion, very, very well worth it. Uh, anything I would done differently? The only thing I would think I would actually do differently would be probably get a seven foot interior height. So if you're looking at something, just maybe get a, you know, the extra four inches. Um, really, you know, it would help out a little bit. Now it's great. I'm not going to sell this by any means, uh, but it's and an extra four inches of height would have been great. But it is, you know, those are usually all an aluminum version. It, you know, it's gonna be. It was hard to find for me. I was looking for them. I knew I was like it'd be better, but um, I settled for this one, and I'm completely happy with it. But if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely do seven foot interior height. And I might say, I mean, if I was gonna do it all over again as well, I might go eight foot wide, uh, just just to have the extra room. But again, I do like the visibility with the truck, and I don't have tow mirrors, so. Again, that's the hit and miss. I'm, if I had a bigger truck, I probably would have gone with a little bigger trailer. This is completely sufficient for what I do. Um, but it, the tow's great. No, absolutely no issue as far as reliability. No leaf spring issues. It is completely dirty. I need to get it washed. But this is like the last um, beginning of January here. And this is the last uh, probably warm day we're going to have. Uh, like and subscribe, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, again, it's got a little over 10,000 miles on it. A couple, I ran through a tire and a couple flats, but other than that, it's been rock solid. Um, obviously, the one thing to keep in mind, uh, I have the ramp down if it's raining, um, and you put it back up and it freezes, it's going to freeze shut. So I had to do that one time. I was like, I can't get this thing open, and I realized that um, it, was, it was wet when I closed it up for the night, and it froze solid. So I had to, uh, I had to thaw it out, but, you know, you know throw, some, uh, throw some hot water in there and hit bang it, and it came off. But keep that in mind. <laughs> It did freeze shut on me one time. I still have the side door. Um, some people don't like side doors. For me, since I have the uh, the ramp in the back, I use a side door more than I do the ramp just because it's easier, quicker just to get in there. I would always keep a side door. Granted, if you didn't have it, you can have the extra space to you know, store stuff. But for me, absolutely side door is a must. Ramp door is a must. Uh, aluminum is a must. LED lights are great. Um, I wish it had a little more LED lights, but it is what it is. I mean, that's standard. It's illegal. It's great. So... Uh, upgrades to the trailer. Um, obviously, you have to stay tuned because. I... All right, new GoPro, so I hit the wrong button. Anyways, uh, stay tuned with my uh, build out of this trailer, um, the video series. So I'm always obviously uh, building out for organization purposes, and uh, there will be eventually solar, and this will be my basically battery bank for everything really, um, with an inverter and everything like that. So, all right, guys, like and subscribe. I hope you like this video. Um, I'll throw in a couple pictures of what it looks like brand new. When I first got it, that way you kind of have some sort of frame of reference. I know it looks like crap right now. I got to get washed, but uh, it's a work trailer, man. It's it makes me money. It's already paid for itself, and I wouldn't have it any other way.